I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I distinctly remember watching the Star Wars film where Yoda brings the X-Wing out of the water and I spent probably far too long than I'd like to admit staring at cars to see if I could move them. So to have that ability to control my own The Force in this instance, that's very cool. My name is Joshua Carr and I am the technical liaison for IBM's Worldwide Bluemix. I'm always curious about the technology that's coming up, you know, what's, what's next. And recently, the headset that allows consumers, essentially, to read their own brain and understand what's going on inside your head was successfully funded, and I had the opportunity to get hold of one of the first that were shipped. The headset itself uses known technologies to look for specific markers, things like excitement and interest. What we can do is train our headset to recognize certain familiar commands that we think, and the device learns, essentially, that this means action A. Then we can send that data via Bluetooth off to the internet. But once it's there, what do we do with the data? There's an awful lot going on in my brain, I hope, and what can we do with that? And that's where IBM technology comes in. We process that data, we flow it through, and we make meaningful interactions using small amounts of code. So in this instance, what I'm doing is using a command and translating that into a push movement. I used the Java SDK that came with the Emotive Insight and the Java Internet of Things Foundation library, and essentially combined them together to publish the data to my Internet of Things service that sits on Bluemix. And I spun up a boilerplate that uses Node.js, and on top of that sits Node.red, which is a, a wiring tool for the Internet of Things that allows you to easily and efficiently take data and run functions against it, um, sometimes with code and sometimes without having to explicitly write the code itself. In the films, they talk about the force binding people together. In the near future, we're gonna take a huge leap in feeling truly connected with other people. And for me, it was such an easy step to think about how can I use my brain to control robots around me? If I could make any technology from Star Wars real, it would not be lightsabers. Can you imagine giving a lightsaber to somebody? The first thing they would do is chop their arm off. Let's take baby steps. First, faster than light spaceships, and then lightsabers. Once we can prove that we're not gonna destroy the universe with spaceships, then maybe we can deserve lightsabers.